just had a fantastic party with the kids, but unfortunately, there's a bit of a mess left over. So we're gonna look at how to recycle right after you've had a party. Just remember those golden rules. You've gotta keep it clean, empty of content. You've gotta keep it simple. You've gotta remember size does matter when it comes to recycling. Nothing too small in our recycling. You've gotta keep it safe for our workers. You don't want anything that's gonna cause trouble for them. And we've also gotta keep remembering to rethink as much as possible. Recycling's great, but what about reuse, reduce, or avoiding in the first place? So let's have a look at some of the things we've got left over after this party. Okay, so let's have a look at some of our plastic things for a start that we've got here. Say our plastic cups, we've got a plastic biscuit tray and a plastic packet. Okay, remember, keep it clean. So these are already empty, so that's perfect. Keep it simple. Bottles and containers only when it comes to plastics. Remember, you don't have to worry about that number in the triangle anymore. Now, this cup counts as a plastic container, so I could put these cups into my recycling bin. I'm actually gonna wash them up and reuse them again. Luckily, I know that one's mine. Now, with this biscuit tray here, the tray counts as a container, so it can go in. But the packet is a bit different. It's what we call soft plastic, so you can scrunch it up, and that means it's soft, and it can be recycled, but take it back to Recycle at your supermarket where there's soft plastic recycling, but not in your yellow lidded wheelie bin. So that guy's going in another direction. He's all good. What else we got here made out of plastics? We've got a bit of plastic that's come from around of some of our decorations. Again, remember that scrunching? Yep, that's the soft plastic. So that one's off to Recycle. Oh, this is an interesting one. It's got cardboard and it's got plastic on this toy. Now you can separate the two. It's best to do that before you put it in the recycling bin. Now remember, size does matter. So this little piece of plastic here needs to be as big as a yogurt container or bigger than a yogurt container to go into the recycling. And that guy just about makes it. So I'm gonna pop that one into my recycling bin. Cardboard's great, no worries. Into the recycling bin, just like that. Now these cups here, you might think that they're cardboard, but they're coated in that plastic and they fall under the same thing as a coffee cup. And at the moment, they cannot go into our recycling here on the Sunshine Coast. Try and reuse these as much as possible. All right, oh, that goes with, whoop, here's another one. Looks like cardboard. They actually call this guy a Tetra Pack. It can go in our recycling here on the Sunshine Coast. These guys are all the same. So even our system can detect them and separate them for recycling. Just make sure it's empty, that the kids haven't left any juice in. You might notice this one's also missing the straw. The straw would go into the rubbish. And that little bit of plastic, which worries me because it's not here, I'm a bit worried it's blown off and it's somewhere else. So that little bit of plastic would have to go into the rubbish bin. Try and avoid these if you possibly can. Maybe buy a big thing of juice and pop it into the cups because these guys, while they can be recycled, there's a lot of stuff on there that's rubbish as well. All right, so having a look at our cardboard a bit more, we've got our cardboard plates here. These ones are still clean, so I could reuse these. If this has got cake on it, you gotta make sure it's clean, remember? Keep it clean. If the cake's wiped off, it can go into the recycling. These guys here are paper plates. The way to tell if it's not plastic coated too much is do the tear test. Perfect, that one can go in the recycling bin. Unfortunately, I can't reuse it anymore, but it can go into the recycling, and these guys I'm gonna reuse. Our bunting that goes around for decoration, we can reuse this, but if it did get wrecked, it can go into the recycling, but we take off this string so that the little cardboard circles are free to go through. Our little cupcake patty cake papers, they can go into the recycling. Again, if that was full of half a cupcake, please don't put it in the recycling, keep it clean. They're almost too small. They're just gonna make it through. I'd probably even collect them up as they're small and put them inside a larger paper bag like this one maybe. But again, remember, rethink it, keep thinking up. That guy can be reused as well. You probably take out, if you're gonna recycle it, take out the handles, but even better is to reuse. I'm gonna put that over my reuse pile. All right, what are we getting down to here? Ooh, here's an interesting one with paper. All the different wrapping paper you can get these days. All right, we've got three different sorts here. Now this is your regular paper. It's got a little bit of sticky tape on it still, that's okay. If it tears, it can go into the recycling. This one, however, is not paper, it's plastic. And this one has to actually go into the rubbish bin. 
All right, last but not least, good old tissue paper, which can go into the recycling bin. But remember, reuse as much as possible. And then the next step is to go into the recycling bin. Oh, we got some streamers here too. Now these guys are paper, we can tell because they tear. Now I'd probably collect those up and I'd put them inside a, maybe a paper envelope or another paper box and pop that into the recycling. Now, oh, we got some silly hairspray that the kids went crazy with. This aerosol can go into the recycling. Oh, I'd probably take off the plastic lid. Remember, size does matter. That's too small. Smaller than a yogurt pot. So that guy goes into the rubbish bin, but the little can can go into the recycling. All right, you certainly don't want to throw out Thomas the Tank Engine, so make sure the kids reuse their toys. Plastic spoons, avoid them if possible. Otherwise, reuse them. They can't go into your recycling bin. They're not a plastic bottle and they're not a plastic container. And that also brings us down to this little toy. These guys can't go in either. Reuse wherever you can. Otherwise, it's got to go back into the rubbish bin. And all right, these guys look cute. They're a whole lot of fun, but avoid wherever possible. This is the good old balloon. It cannot go into your recycling bin. It is not biodegradable. Avoid these, otherwise pop that and into the rubbish bin. Remember, keep it clean, keep it simple, and size does matter, all right? Keep it safe for our workers. Be careful with some of those things you put in there and rethink as much as possible and avoid if it's something that has to go into the rubbish bin. Now, even when you're with your pets, you've got to be thinking, how can I recycle right? Good old tin of dog food. Oh, it's empty. It hasn't been rinsed, but that's okay. It's empty and it can still go into the recycling bin. But guess what? Even your fish food. This can go into the recycling. It's big enough. So even when you're dealing with your pets, always remember, recycle right. 